When I started to investigate crop circles in detail, it became obvious that this was far from a new phenomenon. It had in fact been known for many, many centuries and recorded in the literature. The first crop circles that occurred in Wiltshire, needless to say, were, were indeed very simple circles. But something about the flow of crop was very characteristic of this apparently new phenomenon. The crop was laid down beautifully, mathematically laid out in spirals. Okay. And it was only when I started to look at them in detail, investigate them in detail, did I realize that this energy which had created the crop circles was extremely well located within the crop circle. Immediately outside of it, the situation was quite normal from an energy point of view. And already at that point in time I could sense that there was a column of energy spiralling upwards from these crop circles. And this was an enormous clue to the basis of how these things were formed. It soon came obvious to me that if this were a genuine phenomenon created by Mother Nature, then the crop itself would be affected by the incident energy. The original idea of the creation of these crop circles was a descending vortex in other words, wind, if you like, spiralling wind from on high, coming down onto the grass, and indeed, due to the pressure of the descending airflow, this would flatten the crop. It sounded a very sensible proposition initially, apart from the fact that this process was totally against anything that had ever been discovered in weather phenomena. So it was something which was quite revolutionary, or potentially revolutionary. Okay. I did not particularly like this idea and started thinking along other lines. Okay. But this ph phenomenon was in fact quite genuine and this revealed itself in a way that seemed a little bit surprising because when people took their electrical equipment, in particular their devices for measuring electric fields or things that operated on batteries, the batteries went flat within seconds. And this is an enormous clue to the fact that we are dealing with a spiraling electrical phenomenon. I then decided how are we going to prove that this is a natural phenomenon? There must be some change within the crop and indeed potentially the soil as a result of this natural electrical phenomenon. And it occurred to me that potentially it could be something akin to a sort of a lightning strike. And if that were so, electrical discharge in the atmosphere did something which is quite unique. It's the only way in which we can weld together the two atoms of the most common elements in the atmosphere, nitrogen and oxygen. And this potentially is a way of in crops themselves creating nitrates. Nitrogen and oxygen together give the chemical symbol NO suffix 3 
and this means that seeds in the crop and also elements within the ground would have higher nitrate content. I collected samples, took them to my local agricultural laboratory to do the standard agricultural test which farmers use for seeing how well their crops are growing throughout the season and they hey presto the nitrate level in both soil and seeds had gone up dramatically. As a result of that we approached the forerunner of DEFRA, what is now DEFRA, ADAS, which was the government body which looked after agriculture throughout the UK and they had already from the individual's point of view taken an interest in the crop circle phenomenon and as a result of contacting these people they agreed to do tests themselves so this was not just myself using a local agricultural analytical laboratory to do tests for me but to get the government to test it on our behalf. They did so, the outcome of this was they fully confirmed our results. There was a natural phenomenon which could only be determined as a result of electrical phenomenon in the atmosphere. So this was quite something. They wished to publish their results, but before they published these results, I have to say, and this is not unique, the individual who was promoting all of this work was made redundant.